You see these? I spent $800 this year on beauty advent calendars so we can keep the tradition going and open them all up at once. It's like Christmas every time. I'm so excited. We have the iconic P. Louise, Charlotte Tilbury, Bobby Brown, Sephora collection, a bunch of good stuff. And we're gonna pick a few items from each advent calendar and make a special one of one advent calendar for one of you lovely boo boos. Yeah, that was cringe. We're starting with the Charlotte Tilbury. It's just calling my name. There's something about the Charlotte Tilbury ones that just feels so magical and like luxe and elite. And it should feel like that because it costs a pretty penny. It's the Charlotte's Lucky Chest of Beauty Secrets. It's $210 with a value of $279. And you're supposed to save $69. 69, <laughs> stupid. For the first two products of every advent calendar, I'm gonna put a blindfold on and pick them. And those are the two products that we're gonna set aside for your advent calendar. What do we got? Ooh, it's a lip pencil in the shade Hot Gossip. I love their lip pencils. Usually I swatch them for you guys, but we won't contaminate this one. Item number two, going to you. How much wrapping paper is there? Ooh, it's Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil. Lip conditioner by day, lip mask by night. We have 10 days left. Let's start with the first drawer. Ooh, it's a lip product. It's the, what is this? It's a lip gloss in the shade Walk of No Shame. The second drawer, oh, I know it, this is. This is that magic serum. I love this stuff for priming before makeup. It hydrates your skin so well. It smells really good too. The fifth drawer. Ooh, it's the beauty light wand little highlighter stick in the shade Spotlight. Amazing highlighter. In the sixth drawer, you get, ooh, it's her mascara, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I'm a big fan of their mascara. Like look at that tapered, short bristled wand. It's everything I like in a mascara. Drawer seven, it's the Rock and Coal Eye Pencil in Barbarella Brown. I low key am way bigger fan of brown eye pencils in black and it glided on so smoothly. Drawer eight, give me something good. Ooh, it's a brush. It's so cute. This is a good little blush brush. Feels good quality too. Drawer nine, it's a lipstick in the shade Glowing Gen. Man, that eye pencil is not coming off. That's a full size lip product too. Love that shade. Drawer 10, it's a little mini blush wand in the shade Pillow Talk. Matter of fact, I'll add this to the advent calendar for you guys because I already have a full size version of this and you need this in your life, it's that good. Drawer 11, it's the Magic Cream. That's a decent amount too. I love how thick and like luxe this Magic Cream feels. It's so, so good. So I'm super happy she included that in there. Final drawer, oh, I hope it's something amazing. <gasps> it is! It, it's this setting spray. I love it. I don't think I've used another setting spray in like months, which is saying something. I love it. Charles wants to try it. Purr. Did you like it? Feels good. Feels Ooh. like money. Feels nice. That's the Charlotte Tilbury box. I love everything that comes in here. So I feel like if you're a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan like me and you're gonna use everything, it's definitely worth the money because you're saving $69. Might as well just get the advent calendar and have like the full experience while opening too, you know? Next we'll do the Sephora collection one. She's a little smaller. This one was a more affordable calendar. It's the Sephora collection after advent calendar. It's $30 with a $60 value, which is really good considering they're all supposed to be full size products. And Sephora collection I feel like is slept on, like they have some bangers. My favorite lip liner right now is this Sephora Collection, Suede something. I'll write it on the screen because I forget, but it's so good. Giveaway time, we'll pick two products. Dun, 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 dun. Which one? Oh, let's go right for the center. It's day 25, a cherry lip mask and a pomegranate eye mask. That's like a two product in one too. Product two. Oh, that one feels, that one feels good. Day 30 and it's a full size lipstick in the shade Excessively Red. That's a good holiday lip color. I'm just realizing the numbers here so I guess that's when you start opening on Christmas, which is really nice to gift. And then you do it till the new year. Day 26, two little nail files and a nail polish. I love this like deep red shade. Day 27, it's the Size Up Volume Extra Large Mascara. This is a fat tube too. I love the thick hourglass wand. That just looks like it'll give you good volume. I'll include this in the giveaway calendar as well. Day 28, there's more than one item in here. A little sharpener and a waterproof eye pencil in the shade Tiramisu. I can never have too many of these. I feel like I lose them all the time. And day 29, a powder blush. It's in the shade Shame On You. That's such a pretty shade. And I like that it has a little mirror in there. Day 31, it's not makeup. It's a little scrunchy and some pretty gems. These would be so cute for some extra sparkle on your holiday makeup looks or even for nails. I like that they included something that's not makeup in there too. So that's it for that calendar. I really like this advent calendar. I love that it's affordable. I feel like it would make such a good gift, especially if you're doing like a secret Santa and you have a certain spending limit. They're all full-size products. 
products too. Love it. Next we'll do the Bobbi Brown one, which I'm so excited about because I don't think I've ever opened a Bobbi Brown advent calendar and I've been really, really loving their makeup products this year. It's the Bobbi Brown 12 Days of Glow advent calendar, $180 with a $290 value, which seems like a very good deal. Definitely the biggest like bang for your buck from all the ones that we're opening up today. This one is only 12 days as well, but honestly, I think I'd rather have 12 days of like extra good products than when they do 24 full days and you're getting like random little like stickers and stuff, you know? The first item you're getting, oh my gosh, it feels like a tube. Oh, it's the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base Primer Moisturizer in one. Product two, I'm gonna pick something extra good. This one feels right. Feels like a mascara. Is it a mascara? It is! It's a smoky eye mascara. That just looks expensive with that thick wand. You guys are getting a full face of products damn near this advent calendar. On day one, ooh, you get a highlighting powder in the shade Pink Glow. Look how stunning that is. And even though it's travel size, you know it'll take you forever to hit pan. I wanna throw this one in the advent calendar too, but I already swatched it. Do you guys care? It's going in. Day eight, you get, oh my goodness, it's a long wear cream shadow stick. I love these. In the shade Bark, I have it on right now on my outer corner. Also taupe and cinnamon are the other colors I'm wearing. So I'm very happy with this. Day four, a full size lip tint in the shade Bare Raspberry. I love this kind of color for the holidays. Look at my light up shirt, by the way. It's my first time having a shirt that lights up like this for Christmas. I've been wearing it almost every day. I love it so much. <laughs> Should I keep it on or off? Is it distracting? On day six, you get another lip product, a Little lipstick in the shade Ruby. It's a beautiful, like deep wine, burgundy shade. Day seven, Shimmer Brick Compact in the shade Bronze. Let's mix them all together. Whoa, that's a bronzy highlight. Pretty cool multi-use product. I guess you could use it as like a highlighter, a shimmery eyeshadow. We skipped day five, so we'll backtrack. Their Soothing Cleansing Oil. I just ran out of makeup wipes too, so I'm so excited to try that tonight. We'll see how it melts off my makeup. That's what it's supposed to do, right? I think. Day nine, another skincare product. It's a makeup remover. It's like they just heard me say that I ran out of makeup wipes. Use this, then their cleansing oil. I see what they're doing here. They wanna give you a good feel for their skincare products also. On day 10, you get another eyeshadow stick in the shade Golden Bronze. I don't have this shade yet. They're just so creamy and amazing and you can just blend it right out with your finger. That's why I've been loving them. Love, love, love. We're nearing the end. Day 11, feels like another stick. A full size one in the shade Moonstone. That's such a good shade for a full size one too. It's like a champagne kind of vanilla color. On the final day, day 12, their full coverage face brush. That's really nice for some bronzer, some blush. I just checked and the full size of this brush is $74. So that's all for the Bobbi Brown calendar. I really enjoyed it because I'm a huge fan of those cream eyeshadow sticks. They had quite a few of those in there, which I didn't mind. But I feel like most people would probably appreciate a bit more variety. They could have given us a bronzer, a blush in there, maybe even a brow pencil. They have so much good makeup. The Sephora Favorites Glitz and Glam Makeup Set Advent Calendar. $49 with $128 value. I'm so dumb. I thought that this was an actual advent calendar when I bought it online, but I guess it's just like a little makeup bag full of some of their most popular products at Sephora. Is that leaking? <gasps> Even though it shows everything that's in it here, I'm just not gonna look and we're gonna pick what's inside and surprise ourselves. Ooh, what do we got? <gasps> this is the lashes, I know it. Velour lashes in the style mini me. You know these be expensive too. Second item, ooh, this feels good. It's a cream blush in the shade Self Love. It's a little oily from whatever spilt in that bag, but what else do we got? It's Iconic London's Prep Set and Glow Spray. So I guess you can use this before makeup or after makeup. Ooh. Look at that glow. Fourth product is a Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. I haven't tried this mascara yet. Is it good? It's got a long tapered wand with short bristles. Looks like it'd be good for length. The fifth product, it's a Benefit Brow Wax. So this is meant to add texture to your brows and bloof them up a bit. If you got thin brow hairs, give this baby a go. Honestly, no one does brow products like Benefit. Let's be real. The sixth product is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. It's only five milliliters though. This one is really tiny. Another really hyped up like fan favorite product. So this really is a bag full of favorites. The seventh product is a Kosas lip oil. I love lip oils. I cannot get enough. Just look how kissable it makes your lips. So juicy. It has a subtle scent, but I really like it. it smells kind of like vanilla. The seventh product is an Ilia liquid powder eye tint. It's a moussey consistency and like a rose gold color. I love this brand. It's a clean beauty brand and all the products I've tried from them, I've really, really loved, especially their cream blush stick. The ninth product is a Huda Beauty lip liner in the shade Pinky Brown. Huda's lip pencils are so good. They're super long lasting and this shade is everything. Such a good everyday lip pencil. And the last product, this is actually what was 
leaking in there. It's the honey infused hair oil and there's only half of it left. It all leaked in the bag. And it's not even that big to begin with. So that makes me really sad. Are you supposed to use it on dry or wet hair? Mmm, smells amazing. It just smells like the salon. And that is everything from the Sephora Favorites bag. Even though it wasn't an advent calendar, I think this one was so worth it. $49 for 10 products, less than $5 a product. That is very worth it. Plus, you get a makeup bag. I'd be happy if mine was an oil stain, but... The P. Louise iconic advent calendar. This one's been so viral this season. I couldn't get the full version, so we have the little mini one. It's the P. Louise mini advent calendar. It was $80, but has just over $200 value, literally doubling and more. And just look at it. P. Louise just outdoes everyone with the advent calendars. Like last year's, it was your guys' favorite. And they're supposed to be all unreleased products, which is really, really cool because you feel like you're getting something special from the brand. And nobody else is really doing that, so... Okay, Miss P. Louise. There's a bunch of boxes inside the gingerbread house like that. What do we got? A moment on the lips lip palette and it comes with a little lip brush too. Those shades are all super wearable and gorgeous nudes. This feels like a good hefty box. Oh, it's the You Scrub Up and Well Body Scrub. Day one. Starting off insanely strong. This is insane. That's a full size palette, unreleased. Look at those shades too. This is stunning. Full size eye brush too. Hey, you guys need this. I feel bad I didn't pick this for you. I'll add it to the advent calendar too. Day two is another huge box sugar and spice and everything nice <gasps> four different highlighter shades day three got to just roll with it powder bronzer palette all of these palettes this is insane we definitely saved the best for last year look how cute the little gingerbread men are and look at the shade inclusivity we love to see it does it smell like anything no, I thought it might smell like gingerbread men, but that's okay. Day four, powder blush palette. So first she gives you a bronzer palette, then a blush palette. You're getting spoiled. This is putting all the other advent calendars to shame. I'm not gonna lie to you. Day seven, it's a lip oil in the shade Winter Wish. Look at this packaging. It's a huge tube. Mmm, smells like cinnamon. Day eight, it's this big tube of liquid blush in the shade Baked Biscuit. This tube is lasting you until next Christmas, okay? Probably even longer. Look how big that is. On day nine, it's an all over body glow in another huge bottle. Oh my gosh, that's so bronzy. Oh, it's like bathing in bronzy goodness. It does kind of smell a little funky. I don't like the smell that much. I like how it gives me a little bit of a tan. Last but not least, Keep It Creamy Color Crayon Trio. I'm assuming they're like eyeshadow cream sticks. I like all the shades, they're all really wearable. I was worried the mini one wouldn't be as good as the full size advent calendar, but it blew my mind how good it was. I can't believe all of the full size palettes we got. I mean, they killed it. This was definitely my favorite one that we opened today. We'll reuse the Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar to fill with all the goodies that we picked out for you. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is the nicest you can reuse it, you can use it for jewelry, you know? Just comment under the advent calendar TikTok to enter and I'll pick one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays. Bye.